Clearing through the clutter and navigating your way through misinformation, that is the purpose behind our trust index here at Channel 2. During this election, we will be using it as a tool to help you. We've teamed up for an exclusive partnership with Fathom to monitor any misinformation over the next few days. Joining us to talk more about it is Tom Trey Winard. Uh, Tom, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Great to be here. Thank you. All right, Tom, we have a lot to unpack here, so let's get right to it. How will the Trust Index team be monitoring any disinformation campaigns on this election day? So we're going to be uh, looking across uh, social networks for uh, any claims that um, appear to be going viral that relate to things like the voting process, um, that relate to people's access to polling stations. Um, there may be claims around uh, intimidation at uh, the ballot boxes. Um, so we're going to be looking across networks like Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram uh, for anything that is uh, seems out of the ordinary or that we might want to investigate um, because we know that on election day um, there's going to be a you know, there's always a lot of uh, misinformation um, and it's really important that we can uh, help audiences understand that and clear that up. Absolutely. Tom, what are some of the disinformation methods that were being used during early voting and what do you expect to see on Election Day? So uh, over the campaign, we've seen um, various issues raised, particularly around things like mail-in ballots, which is quite a new topic for many states. Um, we've also seen things around um, voting machines, um, uh, around uh, people claiming that you can vote by text, for example, um, things like um, uh, false images of manipulated images of pre-filled out ballots. Um, so there's a whole range of topics that can really speak to um, uh, people trying to sway, uh, 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 sway the vote. Um, and also people trying to uh, limit people's access to, to actually being able to vote. Um, in terms of what you can do, um, I think that uh, you don't have to be a journalist um, to, uh, to analyze what you're seeing. I think it's really important that people, members of the public, um, can uh, take steps themselves to protect themselves from sharing misinformation. Um, so I, I uh, encourage you to pause, uh, think about what you're looking at, uh, check your sources, check the sources sources, um, think about what biases you might have when you're reading information, um, and think about any biases in, in the sources that you're using. Yeah, that's some really great information. Something else that's top of mind, are there any specific groups or countries that you're going to be monitoring? Um, we're going to be looking across social media uh, in the U.S. Um, it's quite hard to uh, attribute things like disinformation campaigns. Uh, we know that there are uh, internal and external actors who um, try and use influence operations, um, but it's really hard during you know during election day to actually be able to say where uh, something is coming from. So I think that that's a more investigative step that you'll have to take kind of after the fact. I think what's most important on election day um, is to be able to find to, to sort what's true from what's false in real time so that the voting process itself uh, retains some of, uh, some, some of its integrity. And Tom, lastly, what are some of the methods used in previous elections that you are seeing come around again? Um, well, we've worked on elections all over the world, and it's actually uh, surprisingly similar how, how the, the tactics kind of play out. Um, we always see things, for example, like claims that you can vote by text. Um, we always see claims that one party is going to vote on Tuesday, another party has to vote on Wednesday. Um, we always see uh, claims that uh, ballots are being thrown out or that ballot boxes are being stuffed. Um, so some of these may be, you know, some of these may be um, le legitimate and they need investigation. But we need to be really careful before um, we share such claims. And so um, on our part, we're going to be investigating uh, everything that we can see that relates to the voting process um, and anything that might be limiting people's uh, access to vote. Some valuable information to help us all navigate this election day. Tom Trey Winter, thank you so much for being with us this morning.